Hi, I'm Katie from Barn2 Media and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create custom fields for your WooCommerce product and display them on the single product page. Now, custom fields are useful for storing lots of extra data about your products, whether it's downloadable documents or extra information, extra product codes. Um, in the case I'm doing here, I'm going to use it custom fields to store extra information about my coffee, such as the type of coffee, the region, and the strength. And I want to display that on my single product page, but I don't want to have to enter it manually into the short or the long description. I also don't want to have to edit any code because a problem with custom fields is often that you have to um, add it programmatically to the template file in your theme, which requires a developer. So by using a plugin called WooCommerce Product Table, I will show you how to display custom fields on the product page without having to edit any code or do that work manually. Um, what we're gonna do is put it here within the short description field and it's gonna automatically pull through the custom fields and show them on your site. Now I'm gonna show you what plugins I've got installed on my website now. The, what you need is three plugins. You need WooCommerce, which powers your overall store. You need Advanced Custom Fields, which is a free plugin that you can download from WordPress.org. So to get Advanced Custom Fields, you just go to Plugins, Add New, and search for Advanced Custom Fields. And finally, you need WooCommerce Product Table, which is one of our plugins at Barn2 Media. And that's what we're going to use to display the custom fields from advanced custom fields on the front end of your website on the product page. So let's set it up. The first thing we want to do is create the custom fields that we're going to add to our products. So we're gonna to go to custom fields. Now you can use any custom field plugin, but advanced custom fields is probably the best, so that's what I'm using here. So let's call it coffee custom fields. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. So first of all, I'm creating a group for all my fields. I want to add three different custom fields um, for my coffee products. So I'm going to do that now. So I've clicked to add a field and the first one is going to be called strength. And you type the name and it automatically creates this here. Now you need to make a note of this because you will need this to display the custom field in a minute. So write down what that is. Um, you can choose a field type. I'm going to leave it set to text, but there's tons of options there. And I'm going to skip through the rest, and then I'm going to click to add my second field. This one's going to be called type, like that. I'm going to click again to add my third field, which will be region. Again, it will automatically choose the name, so that's what you need to store. So I've created three custom fields, and here in location, you need to set the post type to product, and that's what will attach the custom field to the WooCommerce product type, which is this in the admin here. So I'm gonna publish here. All right, I'm gonna go back to my product, and I'm going to click the edit product link here. And so if we scroll down now, you can see the three custom fields which I just created using advanced custom fields. Let's fill them in now. So for strength, we've got medium roast, type is ground, and region, let's say Tuscany. And if you wanted to add more advanced data to your custom fields, such as uh, download links or something like that, then you can do that too. You can either enter the HTML code for that directly in a text custom field like this, or instead you can uh, choose the um, WYSIWYG custom field type, which adds a visual editor like this as your custom field. So that is an easier way to add formatting and links and things like that to your custom fields. Uh, but because I'm just adding simple text, I've kept it simple. Let's update the product. So now, as you can see, it will not appear on my product page. So I've added three custom fields with data to this product, but it's not visible anywhere. And that's what you need the WooCommerce product table for. So you get the WooCommerce product table plugin, install it in the usual way. And once you've done that, you need to go to WooCommerce settings. So WooCommerce settings, products, 
product tables and this is where you need to enter your license key which you'll receive when you get the plugin and then you go through and choose all the default options for the tables which you're going to use to display the custom fields on the product page. So in table content, I'm going to choose some columns now. I'm going to choose uh, custom field columns. So what I want to do basically is create a table which lists the three custom fields that I just created. To list a custom field, you need to write CF colon, which basically tells the product table plugin that it's a custom field. So first of all, I want to show my strength custom field. So I've written CF colon strength. Then I'm going to do another comma, CF colon region and CF colon type. Um, if you're adding multiple product tables to your site, listing different types of things like products and variations and whatever, you don't have to choose your columns here. You can actually do that for each individual table in, um, in a minute, but I'm just going to do one globally, so that's what I'm going to enter here. Um, ignore any options that aren't relevant, I'm just going to skip through to a few. The main ones that I'd recommend that you use when displaying custom fields on the single product page is that you should disable all of these table controls at the bottom. And that's because you don't, if you just want a simple table of custom fields. You don't really want to make it searchable. You don't want, you know, you just want to keep it really simple. So I'm just hiding all this stuff to keep it simple. And then I'm going to click save changes. So now we've set up the ability to create our tables containing the custom fields. We need to go into um, the products page again. So this is where we edit the product. And now I'm going to add something to my short, descri short description. Here we've got, I've written, this is the short description. I may as well leave that there because you can have text too. So I'm going to create a space underneath. And you see this toolbar button here, which says insert product table. So I click that and it adds a short code to the page. If I published it and viewed it now, it would list all of my products with the three custom fields I specified. Obviously, if you're using this on the single product page, you only want to show the custom field relating to the product that you're currently viewing. And to do that, you need to enter the ID of the current product. So I'm going to write, include within the short code and then equals and I need next to open the quotation marks and find the ID of my product. You won't be able to see this on my screen but I, if I look in the address bar at the top of my browser there's a long number and I'm just copying this. I realize I've gone out of shot for you now and it is this. So by looking in the URL at the top of the browser bar you can see the ID of your product and it's the long number that's part of the address for that page. So my product ID is 12285. So now if I save my product and view it, it's going to show me the short description with a table with the three custom fields that I just created. You can probably see I've made a mistake um, there's an add selected to cart button there and that's basically an error that I have made on the page for the product table settings. So let's just find the add selected. Here we go. So I just change the settings so that it's not going to show that. Right, that should do it. And then we'll go back to our products hide those buttons that aren't relevant. Those are there for if you're using uh, product tables to actually create an order form of your products. That's not the use case we're doing right now. So here we now have a really neat little table which lists the custom fields for that product only. It's got columns for each of the custom fields that I created and um, it's a really nice handy way of showing extra data within the table. And so if you wanted to automatically show the custom field for the current product instead of, sorry, wrong page, instead of adding include here, then that is a bit more technical. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this tutorial because it is a developer level task. But if you're a developer, then you could add the product table shortcode directly to the single product PHP template in your theme. 
And if you did that, then you would be able to pull through the current ID of the current product instead of using this include option. But for now, this tutorial is aimed at less technical people. So I've showed you how to do it manually for each of the products for which you want to display custom fields. And there you have it. Now you know how to add a table of custom fields directly to the single product without uh, editing any custom code or anything like that. You can add it either to the short description up here or to the long description. And it's a nice way of showing extra data about your products in a non-technical way. You can get the WooCommerce product table plugin from our website, barn2.co.uk and um, get in touch if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.